Hello guys and welcome to Barking Mad Tech, an extremely low effort and extremely low budget tech channel dedicated to bringing you only the best in bad tech content. My name is Nick and today we're doing another build video. I know I said in a recent video that I wasn't going to be doing those too much anymore, but today we actually have one. We have a friend of mine who's building a new PC because his old one has some issues, I'm not going to go into that. It's a whole, it's a long and difficult story, suffice to say, we've come to the conclusion that we're just going to build a new one. And we've got a pretty nice setup in store for you today, so... Stay tuned. All right, Luva, we're gonna start building. You excited for a new computer? No. No? No. How come? Because uh, I wanna keep the old one, but it's dead now, so <laughs> it's, of course. It's not working. Oh, well, we're gonna build your great computer, and it's gonna be better than the one you had before. Yeah. Okay, so the parts we'll be using are the, for a processor, we'll be using a Ryzen 5 3600 XT, which are the new pre binned six core 12 thread successors to the, uh, I guess it would succeed the 3600X. Uh, so this one's going to be great for his gaming needs. Motherboard, we've got a pretty nice swanky motherboard. It's the B550 Gaming Edge Wi-Fi from MSI. It's got built-in Wi-Fi, built-in Bluetooth. It's got everything you could desire from a motherboard. It's got PCI Express Gen 4, not that we'll be using it. Uh, so that's going to be pretty damn nice. And then we've got our RAM. And we've gone all out. We've gone 32 gigs of uh, HyperX uh, DDR4 at 3200 megahertz. And it's got ARGB. So that's also going to be pretty dope. It's a bit overkill, but hey, why not? Storage, we've also gone a bit overkill. We've gone all SSD. We've got a 500 Kingston A2000 for our boot drive. This is a carryover. We've got a 1, 000, uh, one terabyte Kingston A2000 for some more mass storage. And then we've got two Samsung 860 QBOs, one terabyte. So yeah, that's three and a half terabytes of SSD storage. And I think, how does that sound to you? Do you think that sounds good? Computer. Fair enough. <laughs> and then for our case, we will be using this, the Cooler Master TD500 Mesh. Seems like a pretty decent case for the money we paid. It comes with three ARGB fans in the front and a fully, obviously, mesh front panel. So airflow should be really good. It's also going to look pretty sick in there, I think. Uh, to complement those three RGB fans, because this going to actually come with a rear one, we've got another ARGB fan to put in the back. Power supply will be a Fractal Design Ion 760p, which is a really high-end 80 plus platinum rated power supply with 760 watts. That's also a carryover. And then, finally, for the big kahuna, it's the graphics card. We've gone for the GeForce RTX 2070 Super, which will bring this computer up to basically RTX 2080 performance. So you'll be ready for Cyberpunk and everything else that you want to play. Sound good? He's happy. He's excited. Uh, all right, so, uh, well, I guess that's it. Let's get building. So that's it guys for the build, I think it turned out pretty damn well, I unfortunately didn't have time to sit down and do any real in-depth uh, benchmarking like I usually do, but I have every confidence that PC will perform just extremely well for him, and I think it should do excellently in any game we can possibly throw it at this moment, so I guess that's it for me, uh, keep an eye out for future videos and peace out.